Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of our lesson in Eng10, Pre-Calculus for Engineers. For this video, I am going to talk about set operations. More particularly, we will be talking about uh, union and intersection of sets. The union of sets, say we have two sets A and B, is denoted by the symbol uh, like this one. Okay, so this is read as A union B. Okay, the union of two sets A and B is the set of all elements that are in A or in B or in both A and B. The union of two sets are called the elements for both sets. So if we want to represent the union of sets in a Venn diagram, we are going to see something like this. Okay? The rectangle, this rectangle represents the universal set. All the elements should be contained inside the universal set. Same is true with the two sets A and B. Set A should be inside the universal set. Set A here, this circle represents set A. All right? And then set B should also be a part of the universal set. So set B is this circle here. All right? The union of two sets A and B are all the elements in A or in B. This means, if we want to shade the union of sets in the Venn diagram, we should be shading all the elements that contain in A or B, and we shall uh, do it like this. So these are the elements in A, so we should shade this one. And these are the elements in B. We should also shade this one. Now, that is the union of sets A and B. It is the totality or the combination of sets A and B. On the other hand, the intersection of two sets, A and B, is denoted by the symbol. So this is read as A intersection B. Okay? So the intersection of two sets, A and B, is the set of all elements that is contained in both A and B. Okay, these are the elements that are in A as well as in B. Alright, these are the common elements of both sets A and B. So if we want to illustrate the intersection of two sets A and B in the Venn diagram, where should we shade? Remember, the intersection of two sets A and B are the elements that are common to both sets a and B. So, we should shade the region common to A and B. In this case, we are going to shade this part. This is the region that is common to sets A and B. So, that is the intersection of sets A and B. To illustrate the union and intersection of sets further, let us answer this example. Suppose set A is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Set B is equal to 1, 4, 9, 16. And set C is equal to 10 and 2. Find the following. A, A, union B. B, A intersection B, 
C, B, union C, and D, B, intersection C. Let us start with part A. A, union B is the set of all elements that are both in A or in B. Okay, so to answer this one, A union B, that's part A, A union B is equal to the set this, the elements that are in A union B are the sets in A, elements in A, or elements in B. Okay, so we should write all the elements in A and B. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. These are the elements in A. Okay, and the elements in B, we should, the elements in B should be added to this set of elements. So, 1, 4, 9, and 16. So, 1 should be added, 4. Okay, since 4 is already on the list, should we write 4 again? The answer is no. Okay, no duplication of elements. So, since 4 is already here, we should not write it again. How about 9? Nine? 9 is still not on the list, so we should write 9. And then 16. 16 is not on the list, so we should write 16. So this is now the union of set A and set B. Customarily, the, uh, the elements should be written in, in order. Okay, so we can rewrite the sets to look it more uh, in standard form. So we should write it in ascending order. So 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, or 9, then 10, and then 12, and then 16. For part B, we are going to look, uh, solve for, okay, so this is part B. We are looking for A, intersection B. Okay, remember by definition, A, intersection B is the set of elements that are contained both in A and B. These are the elements common to A and B. So, therefore, the elements common to A and B are, if you look at this, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 1, 4, 9, 16. The only common element is 4. Therefore, the only element in A intersection B is 4. For part C, we are looking for the union of set B and set C. B union C. Okay, so these are the elements. If we combine set B and set C, we should list all the elements and there should be no duplication. Okay, so uh, let us write all the elements in set B and set C. So that's 1, 4, 9, 16, and then 2, 10. All right, so let us write the elements in ascending order. So we have 1, and then 2, and then 4, and then 9, 10, 16. So these are the elements in B, Union C. For part D, part D is B intersection C. So we should look for the common elements of set B and set C. 
Set B has elements 1, 4, 9, and 16. Set C has elements 2, 10. If you take a look at these two, element, uh, two sets, there are no common elements. Therefore, there is no intersection. It is a null set. Okay, null set or empty set. Okay, the symbol for an empty set is the Greek letter phi. Okay, so this is a, this one is a null set or sometimes called empty set. Okay, so remember in denoting for the null set or empty set, we are not writing the braces anymore. It's just simply V. Okay?